Welcome to RPS Group of Schools Online Classes. Let's continue with the session 4 of our chapter Synthetic Fibers and Plastics. In the previous session, we discussed some synthetic fibers, namely rayon, nylon, polyester, and acrylic. Let's start today's session with an activity. Aim to compare the water holding capacity of natural and synthetic fibers. Materials required. Two cloth pieces of the same size, one made of any synthetic fiber like nylon or polyester and the other made up of a natural fiber like wool or silk, two mugs or beakers, and water. Procedure Soak the cloth pieces in two different mugs or beakers, each containing the same amount of water. After 10 minutes, remove the pieces of clothes and dry them in the sun. Compare the volume of water left in each mug. Then find which piece of cloth has absorbed more amount of water in it. Also see which of them dries faster. You will observe that the cloth made of natural fibers soaks more water than the cloth made of synthetic fibers. Hence. The cloth made of synthetic fibers dries faster than the cloth made of natural fibers. We may conclude that natural fibers have more water absorbing capacity as compared to synthetic fibers. Do you know? How you can identify a given sample of fiber? A very popular and easy method to identify a given sample of fiber is burning the fiber. Let us study the table for identification of fibers by burning. Cotton it burns completely with no residue. Silk burns slowly and no beads are produced. Wool burns slowly and produces smell of burning hair. Polyester burns slowly, shrinks and produces black smoke. Rayon burns quickly and produces smell of burning paper. Acrylic it burns slowly with a sooty flame, shrinks and forms beads. Nylon burns slowly, shrinks and forms hard beads with a smell of burning plastic. Let's study an important material Plastics Plastic is a very common material around us. It is used extensively to produce a large number of articles such as comb, toothbrush, bucket, mug, boxes, bottles, chair, table, toys, etc. Like synthetic fibers, plastics are also made of polymers. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units or monomers. They may consist of linear or cross-linked arrangement of units. The use of plastics has become popular 
because they are flexible materials. Due to this property of plastic, articles made of plastics are available in all possible shapes and sizes. Have you ever wondered why plastic has a such a wide variety of uses? Plastics have a wide range of uses due to their special properties. Let us study some properties of plastics. Plastics are durable. They can take the wear and tear of daily life and do not get broken easily. Therefore, they last for a long time. Plastics are resistant to weather conditions. That is, they do not rust or corrode. Plastics are moldable, recyclable and are inexpensive. These properties make plastic a material of choice. Let's study about types of plastics. Based on the behavior towards heat, plastics can be classified as thermoplastics or thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastic Plastics which soften and deformed on heating are called thermoplastics. They can bend easily. They can be remolded or reshaped as many times as desired. They are linear polymers. Examples include PVC, polystyrene and polythene. Let's take each example in detail. PVC Polyvinyl Chloride It is a good electric insulator and does not allow electricity to pass through it. Due to this, it is used to make coverings around electrical wires and electrical tapes. It is also used in making floor tiles, hose pipes, containers, raincoats, car seats and waterproof coatings of folders and bags. Polystyrene Polystyrene is a lightweight material. It is used to make insulating packaging material. It is used to make food service containers, hot drink cups and disposable plates. It is also used to make CD cases. It is used to make test tubes and petri dishes used in laboratories. Polythene Polythene is another example of thermoplastics. It is used for making commonly used plastic bags. It is also used in making squeeze bottles, water pipes, wire insulations, car covers, etc. Let us perform another activity. Aim to show the effect of heat on thermoplastics. Materials required An empty plastic bottle and hot water Procedure Take the empty plastic bottle, pour hot water into it and observe. You will observe that the plastic bottle gets deformed as shown in the figure below. Conclusion Thermoplastics become soft and get deformed on heating. Let's study about the second type of plastic.
thermosetting plastics. Plastics which do not get deformed and harden on heating are called thermosetting plastics. Once set, they cannot be reshaped even on heating. Thermosetting plastics have cross-linked arrangement of monomers. Let us see some examples of thermosetting plastics. Bakelite Bakelite was first thermosetting plastic. It was invented by the humorous chemist Leo Bakeland in 1907. It is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Due to this property, it is used in making handles of utensils, electrical plugs, switches, combs, etc. Melamine Melamine is another example of thermosetting plastic. It is fire resistant and has better heat tolerance than any other plastic. It is used to manufacture floor tiles, white boards and utensils. Uniforms of firemen are coated with melamine to make it fire resistant. That was all for today's class. Thank you.